This video is a tutorial on how to uh, fence, fence your uh, locomotives in Run 8. And fencing helps you aid in starting your heavy train if you don't have sufficient HPT. All your HPT is very low, like close to minimal. We have 2.6 HPT, 10,000 times 75 loads. Uh, and four units at the front and two at the back. In this case, all our power is up front. And then also in this case, we want to start a train without breaking it in half. To do that, we're gonna need a screen. So we're gonna press C, and we're gonna press uh, gonna press C, C to the DPU screen. This screen right here, distributed power. I like my bulk motor monitor. Anyway, here's our distributive power. So the first thing you want to do is press shift and right bracket. And this green line will appear. The green line indicates that this is separate and this is all separate. They separated basically. So if I idle it, it doesn't change. It won't change. To change, well, to change how you, you're gonna press left shift and uh, apostrophe to yellow. Notch one, notch two, notch three. I'm gonna take this unit and we're gonna put it in notch four. gonna release the brakes in a minute I don't want to get notched up so low pad cheat the train move okay notch four notch five I'm thinking notch five will be enough I want sufficient amps on the back to push I don't think the ELT is really moving okay gonna release the brakes in a minute release okay and then come down and independent slowly come on end up coming down gotta come down some more come on little train push little train push Hmm. I don't think the train's actually moving. No, not moving. So I'm gonna notch up the back units once more. Notch six. And the train should start moving. It should start moving. Just with the back units pushing. Hmm. I believe I'm gonna let I believe we can push it to knock seven and watch the couplers. And then it's gonna load again. And your couple of strengths is fine. Four hundred thousand is the limit. We're about like eighty K under. We should be okay. And that's it, the train's moving. Hmm. I'm gonna let the train build up so speed before we notch up again. But yeah, that's that's basically how you fence in locomotives. When you start to have a train you can fence them. I usually don't, unless I really, really need to. But um yeah, that, I'm gonna notch it up some more. And I think we can look at, yes. So, this blue means it's pushing really, really hard on the rear end of the train. Yellow's not so good, green's okay, white is neutral, I believe. 
so the back is pushing really hard. Hmm. I always like this screen. I believe if I notch up, I'm gonna break this train. So I'm gonna leave it and let the speed build and it stopped at 9.1. Let's see. If I notch up, notch five. Ish. I'm not gonna pay attention to that dang thing no more. Let me start straining this side again. Less strain on the back, more strain up front. The key thing with Mountain Railroad is not to notch up too fast as you'll break the train in two if you do. Okay, notch five. I mean six. Six, notch six. The back still pushing notch eight. So yeah, that's basically how you fence locomotives in and run eight. Just wanted to post this little short tutorial if you didn't already know. If there's any newbies out there that don't know how to fence in their locomotives to start kind of heavy trains. This is uh, Train Sim USA signing out.